Let's be honest, people are overloading their vehicles. Maybe you're wondering how much sumo springs can compress and what, if any, impact there might be if you overload them. This video will explain what we suggest for compressing each of the sumo springs densities and why that's important. Hi, I'm Adam here at Super Springs International, and I'll be reviewing our compression ratings and try and help you make sure you're not overloading your sumo springs. It's important to remember that sumo springs are not a primary suspension solution. They've been designed and engineered to work in concert with your factory suspension. With that, each density and type of sumo spring should also only be compressed to a specific percentage of its original height. For blue sumo springs, that's 70%. For black sumo springs, it's 65%. And for yellow sumo springs, it's 55%. So for example, if you have this blue five inch spring, the maximum recommended compression would be 70%. Overloading them beyond these ratings could potentially cause internal damage. If you see that your spring is compressed more than we've recommended, give us a call so we can see how best to help you. There are times where you may need a different density or type of sumo spring. Be on the lookout for more videos in this learning series as we answer more of your questions. As always, you can call us, chat on the website, or reach out to us on social media with any questions.